What's up YouTube friends? Now today is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to show you how to make these cute fabric envelopes that are personalized and is the perfect thing to stuff full of little treats and goodies for all your friends and loved ones. Now these are really easy to put together and really fast and I whipped up about 10 of these in no time at all. So the things that you're going to need to make this fabric envelope are one piece of fabric that measures 15 inches by 9 inches now I'll be using a mid-weight canvas today, but you can certainly use any fabric that you'd like. You're going to need a scrap piece of red fabric, and that's just going to be for the little heart here. Now I got this idea off of Pinterest, and I believe it was on a website called Craftomaniac. And she went ahead and just used felt and hot glued it on to her little envelope. But I don't have any red felt today, so I'm just going to use fabric. So in order for me to glue my fabric to my envelope, I'm just going to use some of this no-sew heat and bond. You're also going to need a piece of ribbon that measures 7 inches long, and my ribbon is 3 eighths of an inch wide. Now for the closure for our envelope, I'm just going to use these Velcro dots here. I got these at Walmart, and they're specifically for fabric. It comes in a pack of 8, and it's supposed to be peel and stick for a permanent bond. We'll see how well these work. You're also going to need some sort of heart template. Now you could just go ahead and freehand this. I of course made a little cardboard template and this measures about an inch and a half long by an inch and a half wide. And today I'll also be using my pinking shears. Now this next part is totally optional but I wanted these to be personalized for every child that I'm giving it to. So I'll be using my alphabet stamps here and my stamp pad. You're also going to need your sewing machine. Today I'll be using red thread. So let's get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to fold my fabric the long way in half. And I'm going to finger crease it here at the top. So now we're just going to make the triangle flap here for our envelope. So I'm going to line up my ruler here with the finger crease. And I'm going to come down the side two inches. and cut it off. Now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm just going to take the bottom here and I'm going to fold it up. Now from this point right here I'm just going to come down an inch and a half and that's where I'm going to line up my fabric. So now I'm just going to take this over to my ironing board and give it a press. So now that I have my bottom pressed I'm going to start right here and I'm going to sew all the way around my envelope. I'll be using red thread with a straight stitch and I'll be using a quarter inch seam allowance. Alright so I'm over here at my sewing machine. Like I said I'll be using a straight stitch and my length is a two. I'll be using a quarter inch seam allowance and I have red thread in my machine. So I just want to back stitch at the beginning here. and continue to sew. Alright so I stopped about a quarter inch away from the end here. I'm going to stop with my needle down and spin. And just keep sewing. Alright so when I get to my point here I can still see where I did the finger press. So I'm going to stop right there with my needle down I'm going to raise my presser foot and spin and now I'm just going to continue to sew all the way around till I get back to the end so now I'm just going to take my pinking shears here and I'm going to pink all around the edges here making sure not to go through your stitches That'll keep the fabric from fraying, and I also like the rustic look. So now that I have finished pinking around my envelope, I'm just going to set it off to the side for a minute. And I'm going to grab my piece of scrap red fabric. Now this really doesn't have a right or wrong side, but if you're using a print or something like that, 
you want the wrong side facing up. I cut a piece of my heat and bond that'll fit my red fabric. And there's a glue side and a paper side. So I'm gonna lay this glue side down and I'm gonna iron it per the manufacturer's instructions, which it just says to iron it for eight seconds. So now you just wanna let this cool. So when it's cooling, I'm gonna take my heart template here and I'm gonna trace it out with a pencil. Now with some sharp scissors, go ahead and cut out the hearts. So I have my heart all cut out here. So now I'm just gonna fold down my envelope flap. And I'm gonna take this over to the ironing board and just iron a crease right across here. So now I'm just gonna take my heart here and I'm gonna peel off the back paper. And that's gonna expose the glue side. And then I'm just gonna line it up with the point of the heart, with the point of my envelope. Now I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks good to me. And now I'm just gonna hit that with my hot iron for eight seconds. That's gonna glue the heart to my fabric. So once I have my heart glued down here, I'm gonna open up my envelope again, and I'm gonna get my seven inch piece of ribbon. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna place my ribbon right here by the fold. And I'm going to come in about a half an inch and pin. So now I'm just going to take this back over to my sewing machine and using that same straight stitch I'm going to attach my ribbon. Now my seam is only going to be about a half inch long and I just like to back stitch two or three times just to make sure it's secure. Alright guys if you can see that that is where my stitch line is for the ribbon. Now at this point, I think they look cute as is. You can go ahead and add your Velcro dots, fill it with candy, and deliver it to the children. But I have a few of these to make, so I want to personalize them. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my envelope here. Now I'll be using a piece of cardboard here just so the ink doesn't run through to the other side. And I decided that I wanted to put the child's initials here at the bottom. So I'm just going to get the initials here. And just to make sure my stamps are nice and straight, I'm going to go ahead and put a rubber band around them. Now I'll be using black ink. I think this would look just as cute with red ink, but my red ink dried out. So now I'm just going to stamp my stamps in the ink. And now right onto the fabric. Just like that. So now I'm just going to remove my cardboard here and grab my Velcro dots. So I'm going to take one of the hook pieces and one of the fuzzy pieces and I'm going to put them together. Now I want the fuzzy piece on the flap here so I'm going to put it right where the heart is. And this stuff is really sticky. I'm just going to close my envelope and press down. And now our Valentine's Day fabric envelopes are complete. The next step you want to do is go ahead and fill it up with goodies. I hope you give this video a try. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified when one of my videos gets posted, go ahead and hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would just like to leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Head on over to Scrappy's Patch on Facebook page and hit the friend button if you'd like to share ideas and pictures of your projects. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you next time.